Hi class, it's Miss Strasser and I'm creating a video tutorial to help you create the Oxplow Elements and Principles Study Guide book. You'll be using this so that you'll get better acquainted with the Elements and Principles and you'll always have it so that you can look back at it throughout the school year. For starters, this is the Oxplow book. I'm creating this tutorial because for, you'll most likely be creating this at home for homework and the written instructions might be a little confusing. Um, you'll have, when you open it up, that's the cover, you'll have your elements, seven of those, and when you open the entire paper up, on the back side is where you're going to have your principles of design on the ten of those with your front and your back cover. And this book gets its name, the ox plow, from the way that the paper is cut. It creates kind of a zigzag pattern in the way that an ox would plow a field. So for this assignment, you are going to need one piece of white paper, 8.5 by 11, regular printer paper. You're going to want a pair of scissors, um, any kind of coloring utensil crayon, color pencil, marker, I prefer color pencils. And you're probably going to want a pencil to help you draw some lines for cutting. So for starters, you are going to take your paper and fold it hot dog style into thirds. And you might even want to use a ruler just to get this paper um, folded into thirds as evenly as possible because that way it will make your book um, an even square. So open that up, and you're going to fold it in half, hamburger style, on the short end. Fold it in half one way, and then you can fold that in half one more time. Alright, open it all the way back up, and you're going to have 12 evenly spaced squares. So here with your pencil you're going to want to draw on the long folds start on one end and move over three sections one two three so this last square doesn't have any line in it then you're going to go from the opposite end three more one two three so when you make your cuts this is where your book is going to stay connected alright so cut on the lines that you drew and you don't have to draw the lines, I just like to use them so that I remember where I'm supposed to cut and where I'm supposed to stop. So you do not go past the third section. Flip it over on the other side. You're going to make your three section cut. One, two, and three. So this way it opens up like that. So to fold it, you're going to pick one side and you're going to make an accordion fold. You're going to fold it forward and then backward, forward. You're going to go underneath so that you don't block any of the pages. This way all the pages still open up. Backward, forward, backward. Same thing. You're going to fold underneath at that edge. Forward, backward, and forward. Okay, so now you're going to decide which one's going to be your front, which one's going to be your back. So I'm going to very lightly write cover and back on my paper just so that I don't forget which one is which. So when you open it up, the inside is going to be your elements. And each element is going to be on one spread, like in this book here. You open up, that's texture on both sides, that's one spread. And they're all going to be on one spread except for shape and form. You're going to put those two together just because they're pretty similar. You use shapes to create form. So go ahead and write out what's going to go on each page. I'm going to start with color. And I'll do line, shape, and form on the same one. Texture. 
space and value. So when I go in and actually draw each one, I'm going to erase where I wrote color so that I don't see it because I have it written nicely right here. And you're going to open your book all the way up. And the one side has all the words you just wrote, all the elements. So that's the inside of your book. You're going to flip it over onto the back. And you're going to see where you wrote cover and back. Each other page is going to be one principle of design. And they're all going to be written facing the same way. So again, you just want to make sure that you write them down so that you know which ones you're going to put where. Alright, so I'm going to go in the same order I did when I made my first book. Emphasis, 